Good day, everyone. Meteorologist Mark Bolmar here. How is everybody getting along? Well, guess what? Uh, if you haven't noticed, I do have my 2023 hurricane outlook in the description. A link down below. There's a link at the end of the video, too. And guess what? We are going to be looking at a major pattern reversal here. It, don't get too comfortable with it, however, because, you know, we're going to start to see troughiness dig out west. This trough is going to start to lift out across the northeast. And let's just see how this unfolds here. So as we go throughout the week, there is that big trough kicking across the west. We do start to see across the east here. Take a look at this. Yeah, we're starting to see a ridge build here across the central portion of the United States. So as this ridge starts to build here and move to the east, we're going to start to see the heat build as well. So, you know, back east here, we're going to be looking at a time period, especially just in time for this weekend. Watch this as we go into, there it is, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And look at that. Yeah, we're going to be looking at a beautiful weekend. There is that big area of low pressure across the plains that's going to cause all of this severe weather that we're going to go into as well. But watch this as we continue to go in time here. Look at this. Yeah, next week, that ridge continues to build until later on in the week we start to break the ridge down and yes there's the telltale sign of a nor'easter type situation developing once again now let's get into it and if that weren't enough look what we're going to be seeing is that snow in western new york and western pennsylvania for late tuesday night into wednesday morning we're going to take a look at just how much could be falling and what's just going on with the temperatures? Yeah, it's going to start out cold in the northeast and east, but watch what's coming for the weekend into next week. Watch how quickly our temperatures blossom as we head into next week. But how long will that stick around? And just how flip-floppy will this pattern be? We'll take a look at this. That trough across the east retreats. A ridge takes its place. A trough replaces the ridge out west. Look at that. But don't get too used to it because look what starts to happen. A ridge starts to build out west. And that ridge by middle part of May is replaced back with the trough across the east. So your Wednesday severe weather outlook. Yeah, it's going to be a marginal risk here from western Kansas all the way down through western part of Texas. But the big day, my friends, is going to be the southern plains. Uh, stretching especially from western part of Oklahoma. Let's just zoom out a bit here and look at this. So Oklahoma City area all the way down through Texas here and then a marginal risk as well. So yeah, Wednesday or Thursday is going to look a lot different and a lot more explosive. All right, your future radar, HRRR. Let's get into it here. Take a look at this. Yeah, that ridge out west is breaking down. There's that big storm moving into California. Let's get our pencil thing off here. There we go. So looking into the northeast, yeah, you're going to have, you know, Wednesday here into Thursday. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with some problems up here. And this is noon hour on Wednesday. So as we continue to put this into motion, take a look at this. We're going to see numerous showers and thunderstorms developing pinwheeling around this upper level low, especially across everything from West Virginia all the way up into portions of New England. So let me just switch over to the winter view. All right, so here we go across western New York, western Pennsylvania portions of northeast Ohio, West Virginia. This is the snowfall. This is some very wet snow. It's going to continue pretty much throughout Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Look at that. It just intensifies. It's mainly the higher elevations, but even lower elevations could see some wet snow out of this. Look at this. This is crazy to even think about. We're talking snow here into the 2nd and 3rd of May. But, you know, as we approach noon hour, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., all the way to 7 p.m. here, that kind of mixes out and the warm air wins out. Now, let's see if we get any sort of snowfall if we get into your, say, uh, Wednesday night here. So, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a little bit warmer. You can see the pinwheeling going on out here. A big area of low pressure. It's actually going to throw some moisture back towards Boston and Cape Cod here uh, for Wednesday night. But watch what happens Thursday here. Let's see if we can actually... No, we can't get too far out here. There's the last frame, 11 a.m. on Thursday. So we're going to see a decreased coverage of 
showers and thunderstorm activity here across the plains let's switch back over to our composite radar so here we go flipping back to your wednesday so this is wednesday at 5 p.m we're going to start to see some severe weather it's not going to be a big outbreak on wednesday but some of these cells could be strong here across western texas western oklahoma and you can see you know especially west of oklahoma city this is by midnight you know, getting into Wednesday or yeah, Wednesday night here. Take a look at this. Yeah, we're starting to see those thunderstorm complexes line up here, you know, and as we get into there it is Thursday. So there you have it. We're going to start seeing showers and thunderstorms. Thursday is going to be a much bigger day here across the Southern Plains. And if you just want to see just how big it is for Thursday, let's take the damn three kilometer mesoscale model here. You know, pretty much agreeing first off with the HRRR, but look at this. We can't get too far out, but look at this. Here's 2 p.m. Thursday. Yeah, there's some explosive development there. It's going to start right across South Central Kansas into Oklahoma. And there's, oh, there we go. We can get the frame where we're going to start to see a really solid squall line forming. Let's get a time stamp on this. This is 8 p.m. on Thursday. So this is where things really start to blow up here. So if we take a look at significant tornado parameter here, let's see. We'll go through your day on Wednesday initially. Yeah, there is a chance of some tornadoes here in the Panhandle of Texas. So if you're in this region for Wednesday, but the bigger day is going to be Thursday. Watch this as we scroll out here. Take a look at this. So we get into Texas and Oklahoma we have a better chance here of some tornadic activity, especially west of Oklahoma City, where I showed you where those thunderstorm complexes and squall line will be solidifying. All right, so let's take a look at our synoptic view here. You know, as we continue in time, there's that upper level pattern, that upper level low on Thursday. It's going to slowly lift out of the northeast. You're going to have, you know, Thursday will be your last day of clouds and showers around the area and look at this we turn our attention to the southern plains that's where we're going to start to see those explosive shower and thunderstorm development and out west you're going to be getting very active as that trough really kicks in across the region now as we look back east for your weekend yeah the big trouble areas are going to be from the southeast here into the plains uh, if you're across the northeast you're going to be under dominating high pressure here it's going to be a beautiful weekend so get out there and enjoy that sunshine as we get into next week there's may 8th may 9th yeah things are things are interesting here but you know for the most part it's not going to look too bad here across the east until we get to about may 10th and 11th this is where we're going to start to see uh, Ohio Valley low potentially start to transfer energy to the coast and you know trouble always starts when that happens all right so there's that upper level low pulling out here across the northeast you see that mixture of rain and snow in western New York western Pennsylvania that pivots out to see high pressure builds in behind it we do get that thunderstorm development you know as we head on into the day on Thursday and then Friday again, the Southern Plains here, you're going to be getting severe weather. Let's just back that up a second. There we go. That kind of pivots to the east on Friday across the south, Arkansas, all the way down through Alabama and Mississippi. And we're going to continue to watch here as we continue to see the northeast bask in finally some sunshine. But the Southern Plains here in particular, look at this. You're going to be dealing with lots of rounds of severe showers and thunderstorms. That continues to pivot to the northeast here. Look at this for Monday, Sunday into Monday. This is late Sunday evening. Look at this. This is a severe weather outbreak here. So with that really building heat comes the severe weather. That's unfortunate. And we'll have that pivot down here into parts of the Ohio Valley by uh, early Monday morning as well. So yeah, it's, uh, it's an active pattern setting up. It is a big reversal with the trough out west and a ridge building across the east. But with that ridge... We get those big, you know, chances of thunderstorms here as some of these low pressures plow into this ridge and create. And look at this, it, you know, the take a look at this is May 11th. So things start to get a little bit strange here. This is almost looking a little bit troughy here uh, and almost like a nor'easter again. So, yeah, don't get too used to the pattern because it looks like it's going to flip-flop a lot. So your total liquid equivalent precipitation amounts as we take us through the weekend here. Look at this. Yeah, so you were going to get some more uh, Wednesday into Thursday here with that upper level low across the northeast, averaging a quarter to half an inch with locally higher near an inch in some locations. Lots of showers and thunderstorms here from the southern plains and parts of the deep south. And look at out west here come late week. Yeah, we're going to see that ridge break down and more precipitation will be moving in. As we head into the following week, adding on top 
of that will take us through Friday, May 12th. Look at this. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, a lot of these thunderstorm complexes. And then a lot of this up here in the mid-Atlantic comes later next week towards May 11th when we start to get that nor'easter type pattern kick back in again. And here we go for the northeast, your total liquid equivalent precipitation here. Look at this. We'll take us through Thursday night. Take a look at this. Yeah, so, you know, some of this might fall in the form of snow here into parts of eastern Ohio, western New York, western Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. And then we get a bullseye up here into the northern New England as well. But we're going to be averaging about a quarter inch to a half an inch on average here. And as we take us through the weekend into next week, it's a dry weekend, but look at next week. Yep, we start to get into another wetter period. And look at that. We could be seeing, you know, two to three inches in some areas. And if we get into snowfall amounts here, let's see what the European's putting out here. Yeah, so we're going to see a couple inches here off of Lake Erie. You know, some of these highland locations, look at here down into the Appalachians into eastern West Virginia. Yeah, you could get upwards of six plus inches. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Some very wet snow. It's very difficult to forecast this type of snow. But if you, if you do the, take a look at the timeline here. A lot of this is going to be falling, you know, late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. So it is plausible that it could accumulate it's just got to overcome, you know, the warmer ground, but it doesn't have the daytime sun working against it. So there you have it. So here we go. Let's take a look at the HRRR snowfall totals. You know, it's pretty much in line there with the European model. Just wanted to throw a mezzo in there for you, but there it is. Yeah, very similar snowfall accumulations uh, late Tuesday night heading on into your Wednesday morning. So let's take a look at our medium rain CFS a climate model. So as we go out into mid to late May here, yeah, it's, wow, there's a lot of storminess here, a lot of flip-flopping. You can't really pin exactly what is going to happen because there's, you know, you see one week or one, one half week, there's a trough out west, a ridge across the east. That's replaced three or four days later. Basically what the CFS is telling us here is we're in a very, very active pattern and things are going to be changing very quickly. This takes us through June 3rd. There it is. Look at that. Maybe by June here, we'll start to even out a bit. And here's some capture. A nice video here from John. It rain and wind before some severe thunderstorms on April 30th, 2023. Yeah, this was the big rule here across the Northeast with this big upper level pattern, this, this nor'easter type, type pattern here. Yeah, it's been quite a sight to behold because it's making us feel like we have a touch of winter going on but there's also some thunderstorms you know they have some hail and some wind so definitely got to watch out for that but john is capturing take a look at this nice capture video capture there john so as we get into your tropical update you know we're getting pretty close here i'm starting them pretty much because we'll see if there's any tropical waves out here you know it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out I do have my Hurricane 2023 Outlook in the description link down below. It's at the end of the video as well. But it's looking pretty clear out here, pretty clear out here into the Caribbean as well. We do have some cloudiness out here in the MDR. But as we head in time, let's take a look and see if we have anything in the mid to near future that's actually starting. And we do, really don't at this point. You know, it's not too surprising we don't, we're not seeing anything. Uh, but this time of year, we do have to watch the Gulf for the tail end of these frontal boundaries. So the Western Pacific from the Philippines, Japan, China, Vietnam, and everything in between here. You know, we have a few tropical waves uh, causing some showers and thunderstorms across the southern Philippines here, but nothing too bad to write home about. We do have another tropical wave out here into the Central Pacific. We'll keep an eye on this, but you know, China and Japan... It's not quite your season yet. Vietnam, you can get something this time of year, but it's very rare. And look at this. As we continue through May 10th here, it's not looking too bad. The Philippines are pretty clear here for the most part. Our last frame, May 10th, it's not too bad out here. Don't really see too much happening, but look at this. It looks like there's a cyclone developing, you know, just southeast of India here. So keep an eye on that. As we take a look at temperatures here, take a look at this. As we get into Wednesday, the colder, coldest air so far this week is going to pivot into the northeast. You can see some 40s 
and some lower 50s here. That pivots to the east. Watch this big massive warming trend take over here. Look at these 70s coming in from the southwest. Plenty of 80s and maybe even some near 90 degree temps here across Texas and Florida and Oklahoma. Take a look at that. And we start to flip-flop the pattern. Look at out west here. We get cooler air. This cooler air is retreating in the northeast. Look at these 90s here into the southern plains for your Friday. Into your Saturday, take a look at this. We got the southern plains here baking and warming up here into the northeast. As we get into your Sunday, it's just going to keep getting warmer here across the east. Look at this lower 70s. Very popular number here across the northeast. And as we get into Monday, look at this. Heat is just building here. Massive ridge. That's going to keep propagating the warm air to the east. A extended outlook from a hometown viewers. Being to Scranton. Upper Susquehanna River Valley. Take a look at this. Wednesday is going to be a crazy day. We'll start off with some rain mixed with snow, transitioning to some thunder showers with some hail, wind gusts, you know, 25, 30 miles per hour, up to a quarter inch of rain, less than one inch of snow. So pretty much no snow accumulation, Up only up to 46. It's going to feel miserable into your Thursday. Some rain continuing up to another quarter inch. Finally make it up to the low 50s, but look at this. This is where the bread and butter is. Look at this. Friday and Saturday and Sunday. This is a nice warming trend, but please don't get too used to this because by the end of next week, we're going to start to see a flip-flop again. You will be getting into the upper 60s to low 70s Saturday and Sunday with some nice blue skies. As always, thank you for joining me for this edition of Media Marks, Weather Eastern, Weather Northeastern, and Hurricane Eastern and Northeastern. Don't forget my 2023 Hurricane Outlook video is in a link here at the end of the video it's also in the description down below be sure to watch that if you haven't already facebook and media mark also weather northeastern also hurricane northeastern and visit me on twitter at weather eastern you can also find me at mediamark.com weathernortheastern.com thanks for joining